same pasture would pick fights with each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked in the fights in the bull fights in Madrid. Ferdinand. 
still like to just sit quietly under the cork tree? And smell the flowers. One day, five men came in funny hats to pick up the fattest, biggest, fastest, and roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very, very strong and fierce and pick them. sitting in the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a big bull sat on you, what would you do? Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around, puffing and snorting, butting and pawing to the ground as if he were mad. men saw him and all shouted with joy. <laughs> Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. <laughs> in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderios. Next came the picadores. Sort and snick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. <laughs> when he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair, he just sat down and smelled. <laughs> he wouldn't fight no matter what they did. He 
just sat <coughs> and smelled. <coughs> and the banderios were angry. And the picadores were angrier. And the matador was so angry because he couldn't show off, he cried. So, they had to take Ferdinand home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he is still sitting there. Under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers, just quietly, he is very happy. <laughs> <laughs>